Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Aaron and today we're going to be swapping the motor on this Manco Thunderbird. Alright, so here's the motor we're going to be putting in our mini bike. It is a Predator 212 overhead valve. Uh, just a motor you pick up from your local Harbor Freight that, you know, it, the aftermarket accessories you can buy for these is endless. You can spend as much money as you want and make more than enough power than what you need with these. But before we unbox this, we're going to get the motor out of this and see, I'm not sure if this is a 5 8 bore clutch or a 3 quarter. I'm hoping it's a 3 quarter, that way I can just swap it on to the new motor and get this completely done today and i think for now i'm going to leave this gas tank use the one on the motor on the motor because that one needs to be clean the stuff is all varnished so i guess i'll start by we'll tear this motor off probably do a few time lapses get the frame cleaned up a little bit and put that new motor in Sorry about the noise of the heater, but it's cold in here, or it's cold outside and I want some heat in here. But we got our bolts out, our two in the front, our two in the rear for the motor mounts. There's one right back in that corner, and one right here. That's all that holds the chain on for the tension, or sorry, holds the motor on, and you can adjust it to tighten or loosen your chain. For now, we're gonna leave this on. Once I get it on the bench, we'll pull this off. Looks pretty worn anyway. Now on to the other side. Actually, before you take out your bolts or your motor mounts, you want to disconnect your gas line, which mine is all dry rotted. So I just, I snipped it. Uh, kill switch wires, which this one has two of them. Or just runs up to the switch. And then your throttle cable linkage, you want to disassemble this. And I loosen them up, should just pull apart. And there you go, that's everything off the motor so I can slide it out of the frame and get it ready for the new motor. I did forget about this little spring down here. Maybe I'll just snip it. I'm probably not, not going to need it on the new one. We'll just cut it. There. Slide this out of the way. The motor is out of the old mini bike. I'm just going to go through real quick off camera and clean some of this stuff up and we'll get ready to open up that new motor and get it ready to put in here. Okay we got a Predator 212 motor here still all boxed up. I haven't opened it. I just cut the tape. So let's open it up and see what's inside. See what kind of goodies there are when you open these up. We have an owner's manual. Okay. Throw that down there. Good packaging. And here's the motor inside in a bag. Which everything is brand new. It's nice to see. So I'm going to pull this out, take it over to the bench, and we'll take a closer look at it. Alright, here it is, the new Predator 212 out of the box. And first things about this motor, when I got it, I peeked at the valve cover. From what I've seen online, I'll have to look a little bit more. If I'm wrong, I'll put it 
I'll have a pop up in the video. Pretty sure this is a Hemi uh, Predator 212. Like this one over here, this is an older Predator motor that probably 10 years old. But it's a stamped valve cover. That means it's a, it's a non-Hemi with a cast valve cover. It means it's a Hemi. So I looked at that when I bought this. Uh, has a quick start guide on it. Came with a spark plug wrench. And just tells you, you know, add oil before starting and gas. No E85. They don't want you to run that. But yeah, this is the motor. Your standard Harbor Freight Predator 212. Now, if we look at this one and look at this old one, we just took out of the mini bike. Obviously, this is a lot bigger. That's a four horse, or it's like 3.8 or four. And this is a six and a half horse. All right, so we'll get this stuff off here and take a few measurements to see if our motor mounts and the crank are similar. See if I have to drill, drill new holes or not. We'll get that checked out and then we'll get the motor back into the mini bike. All right, from what I can see, the position of the mounting bolts and where the crank is at on these two motors are identical. So we're gonna go ahead and install this motor into the frame now. motor is sitting in there, the motor mounts are loose, the bolts I guess, and this is definitely a lot of motor for this little bike. But it does fit. Now we're going to go ahead and remove our clutch. Hopefully we can get this old thing off here. Pretty sure it's toast, but for now, for testing, I'll use this one and we can order a new one later. I think I'm gonna spray a little bit of lubricant on both sides of this just to uh, make it come off a little easier, maybe. Unless, oh, look at that. That never happens. Sweet. But what is this shaft the same as this. Move our keyway back a little bit. It, it is the 
same. So cool. We'll go ahead and put this clutch on and adjust our chain to the right tightness. And honestly, we're just about done. We have the throttle cable left to do. I'm not too worried about the kill switch yet. And we'll have to go and pick up, pick up some oil. I don't have any. So we're almost there. Pretty easy. All right, before I get too excited and carried away with just throwing the clutch on and uh, tightening up the bolts for the motor, uh, I want to use the old chain guard still that was on the mini bike. So what I'm going to do, I cleaned up this bracket, took it off the old motor. I'm going to bolt it back on so I can still use it. And then I'll throw my clutch on. And if you're doing something similar, don't forget about the washer that they use as a spacer on the crank for the clutch. At least I think that's, that's what it is. Hold it up where it needs to go. There we go. All right, so now that our bracket is mounted, we can go ahead and put our clutch on, which I have the spacer on there already. Let's get this on there. Line up the keyway. There it is. That way we have a little bit of a gap here to uh, tighten our bolt on and kind of pinch the clutch. There we go, clutch is on. Now you can adjust the motor to where it needs to be and tighten it up and our chain will be done. So now we're going to hook up this throttle cable for the mini bike. And if you look closely on these Predator motors, I wasn't sure when I bought this if they had uh, if they had a spot to hook up the throttle cable. But if you look closely down in there, you can see there's a spot, that spot right there that mounts to this, pinches this, and then back here, this will pinch your actual cable so that's where that hooks up the only thing I have to figure out I'm not sure I'm sure it's something simple is the throttle is stiff right now that way you get for like a generator you can turn it up and you leave it so we got to figure out how to loosen that up we'll get this hooked up and then we're almost ready to ride this thing Take a look 
right there, you loosen that up and it loosens this lever up so it'll move freely instead of being so stiff. So I did that, but when I did that, I also had, needed to add a, a throttle return spring, which is down here. Connected it right there. It's not wanting to focus. Connected it there, ran it around, and just attached it to the muffler right here. It'll work for now for testing. So I'm gonna get some oil. I'm gonna throw that cover back on, get some oil, get some gas in it. Uh, start it up for you know first heat cycle. And after I do that, I'm gonna wire this kill switch in just in case throttle sticks or something on me. So I'll get to that. All right, so we got some gas in it. We got oil on it. Uh, let's see if this thing will fire up and hopefully it don't take off on me. Take it outside and see if I can ride. It's all icy, but we'll try. wraps up the video about the Manco Thunderbird with the Harbor Freight Predator 212 motor. Um, obviously it's too icy out for me to even ride it in my little backyard so I'm gonna have to take it somewhere or I can throw some stubs in these tires and take it out on the lake which if I do that I'm gonna have to take the governor off and make it go a little quicker. I don't think it's gonna be real fast with the top speed just because the back rear sprocket is it's huge. But yeah it's Pretty straightforward on this bike. Uh, the next bike that we're doing that I have is, from what I was reading, it's gonna be a little more difficult, but still pretty easy. And uh, yeah, I don't know what we're gonna do with these. Maybe make them go fast, get some aftermarket parts for them, change carb exhaust, like flywheels and uh, connecting rod and all that. But uh, if you like these videos, leave me a thumbs up subscribe really appreciate it the motor i bought today i used uh my ad revenue from the past two months so i'm making a little bit of money and i just put it right back on the channel and i figured with this motor i can do quite a bit with it there's even a lot of stuff i can do at home like do it yourself make it yourself so that pretty much sums it up thanks for watching and until next time